Okay, hi everybody. So I am waiting very, very impatiently for my Marvel Collector's Corpse box to arrive. It said it was supposed to get delivered today. I have no idea where that box is. I was hoping to do an unboxing video and have it uploaded for you tomorrow since it's supposed to be the June box. But I finally was cleaning up my little background area and I was gonna collect it with my Marvel Funko Pops, um, which actually has a funny story. I never planned on collecting these, but I really, really love them. And I was gonna decorate with them, so I was like, well, since I didn't get to film my Collector Corpse box like I was planning on, um, I'll just show you my collection. So it all started with this guy. I'm a Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. fan and I love Coulson. I love Clark Gregg. I think Clark Gregg is just like one of the most adorable actors. He's my only Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. one. I found out that Melinda May was released not too long ago and I really want to have a Coulson and May together. If I had, could have one more, I think Melinda May would be my first choice since Coulson's over here by his lonesome and doesn't have any S.H.I.E.L.D. teammates. But then if they came out with Fitz and Simmons, okay, anyway, the next one I got was this one because come on, I'm part of the Disney Movie Rewards Club and they one day was like, you can get this with your rewards points and I never redeem my rewards points ever. I just kind of hoard them until I can find something good. And he was only 700 points and I had like 4,000 or something. So if you're not part of the Disney Movie Rewards and you buy Disney Blu-rays or Marvel Blu-rays or even DVDs, collect those points because you get free cool stuff like this. So he started my Guardians of the Galaxy collection um, and I was fine with just a baby Groot, but if I was going to have Groot, I should get Big Groot. And if I got Big Groot, then I needed Rocket. I can't get them to stand without falling over because they're little bobble, well, now he's standing. Their little bobble heads are so big that I can't get them to stand up. So I don't know how I'm gonna display them up there. Their bobble heads. See, now they all just fell over. If you're gonna collect all of the Guardians of the Galaxy, you have to have Star Lord. So he's adorable with his little guns out and I love him. Gamora and Drax were super hard to find. So I checked Amazon and they were there and they were on pretty decent prices, but I just hate paying for shipping and I'm not an Amazon Prime member, so I really just didn't wanna go that route unless I really had to. It's not like I needed them like I did, but I didn't. I think Valentine's Day, my mom uh, got all of us gifts and this was the one that she got for me. Gamora's super cute with her little pink tips. Gamora will stand up. She just fell over. And then for my birthday, one of my BFFs got me Drax and look how cute he is. It's funny because the whole time I was like, oh my gosh, I love Groot, I love Groot, I love Groot. Groot's the best and he's still the best, I love Groot. But the more I watch the movies, the more I really have like a soft spot in my heart for Drax. I will always love Gamora because I just love girls that kick ass and I love Zoe Saldana ever since I saw her in Colombiana. If you like girls that kick ass, um, Colombiana is definitely a recommendation. And the final one in my collection is Nebula, which I love. She came in like a separate series collection if you look on the back of the box, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but my my friend went to, um, what, it, what was that called? It wasn't Comic-Con, it was something else. Some other convention, I'm horrible for not remembering, but she went to that and she saw Nebula and she was like, oh, my friend means that because she doesn't have her and she's another girl that kicks ass. She's super cute and I love Karen Gillan too because I watched her in Doctor Who. So over here, Star-Lord's the only one that's still standing up, which is, I guess, why he's so awesome. One is masked Star-Lord and one is unmasked Star-Lord. Um, they look identical, just except for the masks, so I really didn't feel like I needed to get this other one because, kind of like with Groot, I would just kind of have two Groots, but I mean, you have to have the dancing baby Groot because that's like the best part of the movie. I just don't really understand why they did it that way. I guess so people have a preference? I don't know. I think this is more of like the villains and special characters collection. So I got Baby Groot, then I have Nebula, and I really don't feel a need to get any of the other ones. Um, I'm not like a super big fan of Than Thanos or Thanos. I'm not really sure how to say his name, so correct me in the comments if I'm saying it incorrectly. I don't feel I need to get Ronin because what? I would maybe go for the Collector because I love Benicio Del Toro and the Collector was just great. And um, Yondu. I'm not really sure because Yondu is not like 
by any means a redeeming character or anything. I am such a dum-dum because I finished filling my whole collection and then I turned around and I saw my poor little Hulkbuster like, hello, what about me? I'm part of the collection. I'm even better because I'm bigger. So obviously I have Hulkbuster because I am part of the Marvel Collector Corp. Marvel Collector Corp's membership. Look how cute he is. He's so big and huge and he's Hulk busting. So just look how big he is in comparison to the little ones. It's so cute. My friends were making fun of me because I was totally going to roll up into Age of Ultron like with my Hulk Buster and my t-shirt and be like, oh, all in a movie, Age of Ultron, everybody. So that was my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry my lighting changed so dramatically in the middle of this video because the sun, I guess, decided to go behind a cloud and then my lamp is doing a really harsh light and it's just horrible. Maybe if I should have, I should have backed up a little bit. Let me know if you enjoyed this video or what Funko Pops you collect. Just comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Oh. I have like the loudest baby ever. She's so loud. She's six months old and she's just loud. But I didn't because I... What is this?